So good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming out for our uh, live demonstration of our M300 with the uh, GeoSlam Horizon LiDAR sensor. Um, so a couple quick uh, announcements. Uh, Joey and Matt we have today. Joey's going to be our pilot. Uh, he's in the blue vest. Uh, Matt's going to be our visual observer. He's going to be in the red vest today. Um, so everybody's aware on site here. We want to make sure that we keep our flight area clear. Uh, the guys on site will be communicating with everybody here. So uh, just make sure you listen up. Um, as a demo of what we're doing today, um, we're looking to fly the M300, uh, which is DJI's uh, Matrix uh, 300 RTK. Um, has a rough payload capacity of about uh, 9 kilos. Uh, we're going to be flying about 5 pounds today uh, with the, uh, the GeoSlam scanner. Uh, so the goal for today is we're going to kind of run along the shoreline, uh, get a nice little uh, model um, just, just over the side of the water. So we're going to be taking a tour towards uh, the head frame. Um, besides that, uh, the M300, like I said, is a, uh, it's a quadcopter, heavy payload unit. Um, it can fly multiple sensors, so um, like I said, we're testing it with the GeoSlam today uh, as the guys are getting set up there. The GeoSlam uh, scanner itself, it is a mobile SLAM LiDAR system, um, meaning that we're able to move through a space without doing setups. We're just walking. In this case, we're flying. Um, and it's able to collect points uh, up to 100 meters away. So these guys are just getting ready here and we'll do a little little pause when he's ready to take off. Um, aside from that, we do have, uh, like I said, the, getting a thumbs up here actually. So just give me one sec. Yeah, much quieter for the bigger ones now.
Yeah, so the guys there are just uh, doing a quick calibration. Uh, so we went up, kind of test everything, and then uh, give the system a quick reset, and then we'll be up and flying the mission. Um, talking about the uh, the LiDAR scanner a little bit more because that's our main focus with this demo. Um, what it's doing is essentially spinning and collecting points, uh, about 300,000 points per second uh, at a 100 meter range. Uh, so that means everything 100 meters away from it in a 270 by 360 degree window, it's collecting those points um, as it moves through space. So we don't have a need to stop. Um, you know, maintain a certain altitude just to collect. Uh, we can change altitudes and move through the space pretty easily. Uh, and again, once we're done actually with this today, we'll be doing uh, another uh, small kind of internal demonstration, which will allow us to pull the scanner actually off the bottom of that drone, put it in a handheld mount, and actually just walk through uh, the show of space later on. Um, in terms of uh, one other thing I should, I should talk about real quick, um, a lot of this drone stuff has developed, uh, as, as many people know, quite far over the last few years. Uh, one of the things that's developed with it is a safety aspect. Um, so even our, uh, even our lovely camera guy here was just uh, uh, briefed on, on flight stuff, as is everybody around site. Um, it's really important that we cover that. These are large systems with heavy payloads, um, and, and there is a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of requirements there. Sorry, that's just taken off again, so. Okay, so Joey's off to mission now. He's just going to do a little shoreline scan, um, pick up some good information around the vegetation and uh, heading towards the head frame. Um, as we were just starting to discuss, uh, safety is a big factor on these, uh, on all drone operations now, um, meaning that anything event-wise or the size of the unit that we we're uh, prepared to fly today, it did require us to receive something called an SFOC. Um, it's, a, it's a big factor. We need to make sure that we're doing everything safely and uh, to regulation for Transport Canada. Um, so that's one thing that we had to accomplish today. Again, making sure that we did a site brief, going through checklists before we were actually ready to fly. Um, and that was all done kind of pre and uh, pre-start to this uh, to this live stream. Um, so Joey's just heading over towards the uh, the Lions building there, and he's going to do a nice little loop and uh, and head on back home. We're going to do a shorter flight here, about uh, four minutes in length, um, and we'll be able to pull the data off the scanner uh, via USB cable and uh, and uh, thumb drive there, and then we'll put it into our software. And roughly a four minute uh, to five minute flight is going to take us about four to five minutes to process. So we're going to have a nice model of the terrain on the other side of the water there. And as Joey finishes uh, probably the lower or the longer length of his flight line, um, kind of talk about some of the capabilities and the use cases for these drones now. Um, so again, drones have come quite a ways in the last uh, in the last five years. 
Um, taking a drone like we have today, the M300, being able to carry um, pretty much almost unlimited payloads at this point. Um, so everything from LiDAR to photogrammetry to thermal inspection, um, there's a lot of applications now. Uh, industry focus obviously for us today, we're running into the mining sector, uh, which is a big player in, uh, in all remote sensing technology, um, via drones, via the LiDAR, um, GPS, some, some higher scale equipment that we see here today um, with the larger equipment for underground. Um, so that's a lot of our focus too. Uh, and that's what we try to we try to develop as much as we can with the industry. So um, besides that though, uh, drones and LiDAR itself are used in a variety of other applications. Um, as well as uh, the survey industry uh, and some other aspects. Let's give us two seconds here. So you don't get that very often in a live demonstration, but that is a perfect reason why we have our checklists. So <laughs> Joey there had a uh, mission rolling um, as we had a helicopter approaching at a pretty low altitude. Uh, he was able to pause said mission, get it down to a low enough altitude where it was not going to encroach on the, uh, the aircraft space. Uh, and now he's able to, once the copter is in reasonable sight away, which it looks like he's going into land. Um, then he can resume his mission. And because we do have our active uh, air traffic now here today, uh, we're gonna make sure that we um, finish off what we can and get home safely um, without any further, um, without any further uh, uh, in interruptions, we'll call it. Um, again, this is why it's super important um, that we have things like our SFOC and our large checklists, um, sometimes a factor that's overlooked. Um, just putting a drone up in the air anywhere is not always the case. So again, Joey's coming in now for a landing after a successful mission. Um, we did have a small interruption there with an aircraft. So we're gonna make sure that we uh, finish off here, get on the ground, uh, to not interfere with any airspace. As, we, as most people should know, we do give the right away in every and all scenarios to manned aircraft. Uh, so in this case, is a primary example. 
Uh, we're going to get this mission done here today, so Joey's going to land the drone. And engines off. We are good to go. So the data collection will be uh, taken off. Uh, Matt's just there shutting off the scanner right now. Uh, it will write the information to the uh, to the data logger that's on the system, and we will later pull that off um, and uh, process it through into a uh, 3D point cloud model, um, which we can then pull into a various number of softwares on the back end. Other than that, I think we're good. Thank you, Joey, and thank you, Matt. Great pilot, great VO. Um, and yeah, if anybody has any other questions, make sure you uh, come by booth R708, uh, Cardo Canada. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with a uh, representative from GeoSAM as well as Alto Helix. Uh, again, GeoSAM being the actual provider of our scanner today, uh, Alto Helix being a uh, the leading training uh, partner in uh, in Canada for uh, drone operations. So make sure you check us out. And uh, obviously, I'm Colton again. Uh, thanks everyone for uh, coming by, and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.